my name is Sneaker Trees, and I'm a hair extension artist, and I'm going to teach you how to do Afro-Caribbean hair braiding. So I'm going to start right now. I'm pulling out the hair out my way that I don't want to get involved in this, in this cornrow. And I'm going to start cornrowing her hair now. So always check to see with your client if they're tender-headed. So I already know that my model is not tender-headed. So I can braid, you know, as I would normally braid. Going over, just corner on here, and you can see they're really, really small, and they're really, really flat. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to get as close to her scalp as possible. So you see there's no real volume. There's some cornrows that they're this big, but these are really small, so they, low, they um, the actually lay really flat towards her scalp and that's what we want we want it to lay very very flat so it doesn't it doesn't mess up the shape of her head and i'm just going through her hair and i'm just checking are you okay is everything good i always like to make sure that the client is not uncomfortable because i need to know what i need to do to make them feel comfortable so if she's telling me that it hurts her i'm gonna have to ease up on my grip on her hair so we're gonna part another another section of the hair and we're going to curl this piece over here. And we're making sure we have no hair in the way. We want a nice clean part. So I'm going to have her tilt her head a little bit. And like I said, you're not going to be able to curl like me because I braid backwards. I curl backwards. Um, but you just need to know how to cornrow. It doesn't have to be the same cornrowing um, technique that I'm doing right here. And I'm just going right to the tip of her head, right to the end where her, the nape right here, just a little bit above it. Because we want this uh, to look really nice and flat. And basically it's just like a nice little thin blanket over her, her scalp. And that's what we want it to look like. So you can see, this is as much hair as I have before I start cornrowing. You can see how much. It's very small, very thin amount of hair. And I'm going to start cornrowing. And when you cornrow, you want to get as close to the tip of it as you can, because sometimes you have spaces in between it um, at the very top of it. So right at the very tip is where you want to start cornrowing from. Again, I'm going to do it right down to the tip. So I normally start off really, really small, thin cornrows, and then it gets just a little bit bigger, not too much bigger. Because again, we want them to be small and thin and flat. So that's the, that's the whole um, combination, small, thin, and flat. Like I said, we want to get as close as we can to the tip of the... And your head is okay, right? I'm fine. Okay. And that's how you do Afro-Caribbean hair braiding. For more information on my services, please visit my website at TanikaTherese.com.